Alright, welcome back to another video. We're doing the review. Uh, the one that we've been hoping to do for quite a while now, which is the ThinkPad E14 made by Lenovo. A, what I consider a good uh, laptop for a business, either large or small, that has multiple employees. That is easy to get. It's relatively powerful and not too expensive. So start off here, we have the typical construction by Lenovo. It's an all plastic design. The light, as you see here, does blink when it is in sleep mode as it is now. So the bottom, nothing much. I have a, just a notepad here to cover it up. Some information here. Um, just your basic, you know, some grills for cooling and whatnot. The processor inside is a i3. 10 100 um which i believe is a quad core um at the moment i haven't really looked up the specs for the just the cpu but it uses a uh, integrated graphics the uhd 630 more than capable of watching 1080p video which this has a 1080p display you know again you know perfect for the employee that you just need to have them go home you know do some spreadsheets some word document you know accessing most of his stuff on the internet you know nothing too crazy you know battery life is also extremely well you could go a full day on it without really without really doing too hard of it of work you know like if you just you know stick to your web browsing your spreadsheet your word document getting a full day out of it will not be an issue it also stays relatively quiet which is something that everyone enjoys so on the left side here we have our USB-C port, it charges and does Thunderbolt 3, and it connects to that dock that uh, I had reviewed previously before. Uh, I'll leave a link to it to check it out if the camera focuses here. We have two USB 3 ports and an HDMI along with your combo headphone microphone jack. On the other side, we have a Ethernet port with one more USB 3.0, and that's about it. Uh, front nothing much here so this one is actually on and i will turn it on for and i will open it up for you so we can see the keyboard so here we have our we have our our signature trackpad num nub what they call it um very handy for those that don't want to use the trackpad the trackpad is nice and big very responsive with multi-touch capabilities the keyboard is actually very nice. Let me see, just get you a closer shot of it up here. A very clicky feeling as I log into this employee's computer really quick. Um, it has sound by Harman Kardon. Um, it's okay, <laughs> nothing really to write home about. You could watch a video on it just fine. You know, if an employee needs to do a Zoom call, it has a 720p camera, which, you know, again, is okay. But nonetheless, it will do the job just fine. Um, power button up here. Um, very basic computer. Can you go to the screen here so I can log out here really quick. Screen is also, I mean, the screen is not a touch screen, but it does have a, but it does have 1080p, which is nice. The screen looks fairly nice again i can't really show much of it because this does belong to a employee and to a larger corporation i don't want them to you know have their information out there but he just has nothing but desktop icons to other programs which is fine but this is a very nice laptop again it's very quiet um again with the i3 the 10 100u which is a lower power version which helps the battery last a lot longer a uh, very good laptop Again, something that I would recommend for an employee, for a business that needs to put a lot of employees out there in the field or they're working from home or even in the office, you can have them plug in with the dock and have them with multiple screens and doing, you know, multiple things and having it charge at the same time. It does come with a 45 watt charger, which is nice. It charges it relatively fast. Again, my only downsides on this one is the, the plastic they use. It tends to stick to oils and finger grease very well. It's very hard to get rid of. But none, 
otherwise than that, it's not not a bad computer for someone that just wants a basic computer to get them running. Or like I said, this is perfect for you have a lot of employees. They're not really doing heavy computational tasks. They're doing something simple, you know, office suite, you know, using Google Chrome or Firefox. Uh, this is perfect for them. Uh, this is my review of the Lenovo E14. Uh, not a very long video. I've been very busy lately. Here, if you want to see the exact specifications, if it'll focus here. You know, nothing, you know, not a very long video. I've been uh, very busy lately. I, I almost got a, a new warehouse and I was about to close on the deal, but the uh, owner of the property decided to not be a good sport, let's just say it at least, and, you, and the deal fell through right then and there. So um, nonetheless, I'm still looking for a, a new location for Dolphin Computer Service, so sorry about the inconsistent video schedule, uh, but we will be getting a place, and once I get the place, I will actually make a video showing you guys around the place, and we'll be back to regularly scheduled videos. Thank you very much for watching this one. Hope you learned something and hope to see you all in the next.